Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're going to be looking at a solar blast, why solar alerts are likely to increase in the coming days, some new animations by NASA, and a bear trap of an unforced error by mainstream science. We're starting here with the last 24 hours on our star, and there is a flash, pop, and release on the left side, on the south. It was an M-class solar flare, although if it was centrally located, it may have registered higher. It was the only eruptive event of note over the last day, and it's also likely sourced from where the upcoming amplified solar watch comes from. The eruptive activity may have actually been largely behind the limb, just outside our view, and it clearly created a significant CME in its plasma release. It also slightly amplified the high-energy proton conditions throughout the solar system. Very rare, actually, to see it happen and be recorded recorded at Earth from that position on the star. When we look at the sunspots, the situation appears largely unchanged from yesterday, but it's the fact that we can't see where that eruption came from just yet. Perhaps a touch of development behind the big umbra there, but that's it. However, if you recall yesterday, we said big sunspots were coming. They're just about to be visible. In fact, the light at the limb here is likely them coming into view, also making the southern trio the source of that CME. Top quake of the last day happened just this morning, six-pointer in Central America. Luckily, it was offshore, so damage is almost certainly minimized there. We'll go next to NASA's new animations. This one is meant to be a zoom in to our solar system, but highlighting the heliosphere, the sun's magnetic field wrapping around all the planets. The only thing that's hard to discern in this portion is the fact that the galactic wind blows directly away from the galactic center. So in this specific vantage point here, center of the Milky Way is supposed to be off the screen to the left. They also worked up a new solar eruption animation. Not bad. Certainly not the worst CME and particle event animation they've put out over the years. Good job showing the initial shock wave and then the CME plasma density. Folks, to understand the goof move and clownery of the latest shiny thing in climate science, we need to recall how... For the entirety of time up to now, ozone loss was supposed to be so critical in a huge chunk of global warming. You might recall this study said half of all Arctic warming, which is about a third of all global warming in total, was due to losing the ozone. And so, we come to today. Ozone recovery will cause global warming. Folks, everything causes global warming, right? Didn't you know that? Gain ozone, lose ozone, doesn't matter. Temperatures going up. What? planet are we living on? Folks, pole shift conference today at Observer Ranch. There's still plenty of time to come out and see us this year at one of our big events. Head over to ObserverRanch.com and check out all of the events in the list and book your stay. Can't wait to shake your hand. ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.